A multi-billion dollar space mission launching today may reveal more about an icy moon circling planet Jupiter. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood joins us now to talk about it. Uh, so, Bill, break down what we can expect to learn from this mission. Well, first of all, it's going to take a long time to learn it. It's going to take five and a half to six years for the Europa Clipper just to get there. Uh, but but the scientific payoff is, is pretty dramatic. They know there is an ocean under the frozen crust of this moon Europa. Uh, they can tell that by a variety of remote means uh, with previous missions, ground-based observations, et cetera. They think there's actually two times as much water under the under the crust of Europa than there is in all of the oceans on Earth combined. Uh, they're hoping to find out with this mission, is that environment habitable? In other words, are the conditions there that could enable microbial life, perhaps, to have formed and even be there today? Uh, this mission is not searching for life specifically. They're really focused on the habitability of the moon. Uh, but depending on what they find, that could set the stage for future missions to go uh, really take a really close look at it. So, Bill, uh, SpaceX says it's the farthest mission for one of its spacecrafts. How long, ultimately, is this voyage going to be? Well, it's 1.8 billion miles to get there. You know, Jupiter is only about 500 million miles from Earth, but they have to take a roundabout path. They're going to go by Mars in March, get a gravity boost from Mars gravity. Uh, they'll come back to Earth in 2026, December, get another gravity assist flyby, and then they'll head out to Jupiter. So it's going to take five and a half to six years just to get there. And then the mission's going to last probably three years. They're going to do 49 close flybys of, of uh, Europa, this moon. And it's it's load, the probe is loaded with high-tech instruments to study this thing. Uh, it's going to be fascinating. It's just, it's like I said at the start, it's just going to take us a while to get the information. 500 million miles, is that all? Come on, that's not that bad. Uh, and Walk as in you the know, park. Walk in yeah, the park. exactly. Walk in the park. Are we there yet? Uh, you know, SpaceX uh, just launched what's also being called one of its most dramatic high risk space flights to date on Sunday. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, it's really impressive. The SpaceX has built this rocket called the Super Heavy Starship. Uh, it is the most powerful rocket ever built twice the thrust of the legendary Saturn V moon rocket, even NASA's new space launch system moon rocket. Uh, and, and Elon Musk and SpaceX view this rocket as the future of the company. Uh, the whole point of it is, is, to, is to be able to reuse both the first stage, which is called the Super Heavy, and the upper stage called the Starship. In other words, a fully reusable rocket. And to do that with this gigantic first stage, which we're looking at here, the engines on the bottom, uh, they want to catch it. They want to fly it back to the launch site. And instead of deploying landing gear and touching down on a pad, they're literally going to go right back to the launch pad gantry. And, it, and these two giant mechanical arms come in and catch the rocket as it's coming down. It's remarkable. I was fairly stunned to see them pull this off on their first attempt. Uh, but they say this is critical to this concept of rapid reusability. And it was impressive. You can see those arms right now on the video. Uh, they reach out and grab the rocket as it comes down. Just, just an amazing thing to see. All right, Bill Harwood, always making uh, the business and the science of spaceflight interesting for us. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. My pleasure.